Bobby, you're on. <clears throat> well, actually, I don't know how I turned out as heavenly as I did. See, when I was five years old, I was playing jacks, and the car fell down on my head. Get the Bobby, are you going to do a routine? No. No. Moving right along. Moving along. Um... Do you want to hear about all the wonderful and exciting things that have happened to me in my life, or do you want the truth? I'll take the truth. Well, to begin with, I come from this quasi-middle upper, upper middle class, family type home. I could never figure out which, but it was real boring. I mean, we had money, but no taste. You know the kind of house, AstroTurf on the patio. Mm -hmm. Anyway, my mother gave a lot of card parties and was probably one of the foremost bridge cheaters in America. And my father worked for this big corporation. They used to send him out into the field a lot to drink. Better that than to find him lying on his office floor. Oh, but he was okay. I was the strange one. How strange? Real real strange. I used to love to give garage recitals, bizarre recitals. This one time I was doing Frankenstein as a musicale, and I spray painted this kid silver all over. They had to rush him to the hospital because they had that thing when your pores can't breathe. Um, anyway, luckily he lived because I didn't paint the soles of his feet. And... What if I'm next? What if I'm next? What am I gonna do? I haven't got a clue. I gotta think of something. What does he want? What does he want? Stories from the past. I better find one fast. What should I say? What can I tell him? As I got older, I kept getting stranger and stranger. I used to go down to this busy intersection near my house at rush hour and direct traffic. I just wanted to see if anybody noticed me. That's when I started breaking into people's houses. Oh, I didn't steal anything. I just rearranged their furniture. <laughs> and... And... Orphan at three, orphan at three, mother and dad both gone, raised by sweet ex-con. Tied up and raped at seven Seriously, seriously Nothing too obscene I better keep it clean What should I say? What can I tell him? School You want to hear about school? I went to P.S. shit. <laughs> See, I was the kind of kid that was always getting slammed into lockers and stuff like that. Not only by the students, by the teachers, too. Oh, and I hated sports. Hey, Ted, sports. And sports were very big. I mean, it was like Jock City. But I didn't make one team. See, I couldn't catch a ball if it had Elmer's glue on it. And wouldn't my father have to be this big ex-football hero? He was so humiliated. He didn't know what to tell his friends, so I told him all that I had polio. <laughs> On Father's Day, I used to limp for him. <laughs> and, and, got him a wreck, got him a wreck. I don't know where to start. I'm gonna fall apart. Where are my childhood memories? Who are the boys? What were my toys? Gone beyond recall. And why am I so what should I say? What can I tell him? And my mother kept saying, if you don't stop burning up your brother's toys, we're going to have to send you away. And I kept thinking up all these spectacular ways how to kill myself. But then I realized to commit suicide in Buffalo is redundant. <laughs> okay, Bobby. Bye. Yeah.